Welcome to the Kasambi Tutorials video 1. You've probably found this video because you already know what Kasambi is and what it's used for, but for this video it's going to be a quick introduction to the features available with the Kasambi app and also to give you a brief explanation of how everything actually connects together. And all of the topics and features that I talk about in this video I'm going to go over again in much, much more depth in future separate videos. So what is the Kasambi app? The Kasambi app allows you to control devices uh, which have been Kasambi enabled uh, via a Bluetooth network and we'll go into the way the Bluetooth mesh network works at the end of this video. But to talk about the features of the app, what it will allow you to do is create a lightning network, which you can see here in front of you. It'll allow you to control individual lights. There's my light entrance light going up and down. And the different types of lights are things like um, single white channel lights, RGB, RGB white and also tunable white. It'll also allow you to control groups. Here you can see kitchen upper. So all of those uh, lights are all part of the same group. So I can actually turn off the entire group, turn on the entire group. I can also use what's called a gallery. So what I've done here is taken a photo of my kitchen and you can see these circles above all of the lights in the top. That allows me to turn them all on and off individually. And I can edit these and you can actually, you can uh, alter the size of the actual kind of highlighted light as well. You can also create scenes uh, for various settings so you can set um, <clears throat> a single light to come on at a certain dimming level say 50% or you can have multiple lights coming on all at the same levels or at different levels within the scene so you can create kind of things for um, a calmer nighttime mood or a very bright situation if you want to concentrate. Within these scenes which are a few more advanced features which we'll talk about later again. Uh, you can get things uh, called uh, human centric lighting. Some people refer to it as uh, circadian rhythms. What they allow you to do is if you have a tunable white light you can actually set the, te the color temperature of the light to go up and down throughout the day. So here for example in my porch light I have um, it is 2200 Kelvin at half past six in the morning and then by the time it gets up to half past nine in the morning it's gone up to 4500 Kelvin. It then stays at 4500 Kelvin until around about three o'clock. Then from three o'clock until five o'clock it drops back down to 2200 Kelvin. And you can freely edit this. I just chose to make it quite sharp but you can put it however you like and you can actually add more points like that and take them away if you want to. Another advanced feature of the scenes is daylight control. Again this is quite a complicated topic so we'll go into depth later on. But there are multiple types of uh, daylight operations you can use um, but for now I'll just take this one here to give you an example so I could choose which daylight set daylight sensor that one I want to use for my uh, daylight reading and then I can tell it what sort of lux level I would like to keep that scene at so in this case now um, when this scene was activated with daylight saving it will try and keep the lights at around 206 lux which might mean turning the lights on a little bit or having them all on full or not at all depending on how much day natural daylight there is outside. You can also create animations. Again this is another topic so we'll go into this later on but you simply add various scenes
You can add wait periods between the scenes if you like. You can cho choose the dimming levels of a scene. And the, the number one there is actually referring to one minute. So let's change that to, let's say 10 seconds for now. That's the time that it will take to get down to zero in this particular case. And you can also choose to repeat the uh, animations and things like that. But again, we'll go into that in much more depth later on. Another type of scene, the final type of scene is called a time-based scene. But for now, that's, uh, we'll leave this because that requires, the idea of the time-based scene is that it's used with a presence sensor. So we'll cover time-based scenes when we talk about presence sensors later on. You can also use standard timers, which can be found in the bottom right -hand corner, more and timers. So here's an example of, of a timer that I have here. This particular scene will come on at half an hour before sunset and it will turn itself off 30 minutes after sunset. You can also add switches to, to, control, to control individual luminaires, groups and scenes. And depending on the type of switch, there are also some extra functions as well. So here's an example of Kasambi's Express switch. You can control four different preset buttons here, which you can see there. And these are the various options that you can have for those different, uh, different preset buttons. Resume automation is something that we'll also talk about later on. That's quite an advanced topic. And finally in the list, sensors. These include, uh, this list includes daylight sensors and presence sensors. As well as that, there are two other extra topics. A gateway can be added to a Kasambi network to allow remote access and remote configuration of your network. A gateway can be something as simple as an old mobile phone that you have lying at home that you can leave permanently connected to your Kasambi network 24 hours a day. Similar to gateway functionalities, you can also create what Kasambi refer to as a site. A site is simply a combination of multiple different networks. When you've created a site, you can also have site-wide timers and site-wide scenes. Again, this is a very advanced topic which we'll cover much later. So how does the Kasambi network actually work and connect? If we think of some of the other lighting manufacturers, uh, bulbs and lamps and things that you can buy from various places, they tend to use a wi uh, your Wi-Fi route as its hub. So here we have the Wi-Fi router in the center. In, each, in this case, there are three luminaires, one, two, three, and your software, your mobile app. Each of them individually connects directly to the Wi-Fi hub, including the app itself. Kasambi works in a different way. It uses Bluetooth, which allows all of the luminaires to talk to each other, as long as they are within range of each other. Your mobile app then connects to a single luminaire usually the very closest to the mobile phone. If we were to add another lumin uh, luminaire or light to this network, it would then start to talk to the closest luminaires. Because the devices are all aware of each other's state, if one is to fail, the other devices Become, then become aware of this and update themselves accordingly. A very quick example of a real life Kasambi installation in, in a garage. Here we have a sensor 
connected to two luminaires, the first luminaire and the second luminaire. Both of those luminaires are in a group. So when that sensor is triggered by the front door, those two luminaires activate. A third lamp is triggered by a second luminaire. So when walking under that second trigger, uh, second presence sensor, it triggers that third luminaire. All three of those lights can also be manually controlled using this express switch. The advantage of this is it also comes off its mount, so if needed it could also be left in a car so you could turn the lights on and off from within the car.